Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here. And what the hell? I thought I killed all of you. Okay, so we still have a wolf running around. Great. Uh, I didn't expect to see that right at the start. Maybe we should actually go kill him. Yeah, you know what? What's the worst that could happen? Another one of us dies? Oh, it's running away. I feel bad. I thought it would attack. Go for it anyways. Let's get the meat. Aha, take that, you foul beast. I feel so bad. And there we go. The foul beast has been slain. Anyways, welcome back to our little civilization, everybody. Today's gonna be a busy episode because there is a lot I wanna do. I'm going to be expanding out this main building all the way across from wall to wall. I wanna add like a blacksmithing area, some sort of cook zone uh, using this courtyard just to fill up the space. I also wanna deal with our inventory. I'm going to uh, slowly spread this stuff out. And yeah, overall, just hopefully set this place up to improve moods because everybody right now is just not happy. Don't get me wrong. We just had a, a, our, our first death. So that's a big issue. Um, we also got to get on ales and whatnot, which we addressed in the last episode. Actually, clearly we didn't. I did have this set up. I don't know why it's not set up anymore. I don't think there's any red current right now anyways. But uh, yeah, we're just going to get out once again. Hopefully survive our first winter and actually get this castle set up and looking decent. I think I might get rid of the archer tower too now that we honestly don't need it. Yeah, let's do that right now. All right, so we're starting to work on the uh, stone wall here. I'd actually like to change these walls to stone as well because the thermal insulation difference is quite a bit, as you can see. So if we can get this whole building stone, they're going to be a hell of a lot warmer. I should also put down, I think you put down like a fireplace. Ah, uh, yes, the clay brazier. Um, that will allow us to stay warm in here for the time being until I add the room. So let's just throw that there. I know it's ugly in here, but we'll be moving a lot of stuff today. Okay, so let's start off with some sort of blacksmith shop here. Again, it's going to be outside, but I want a roof over it. That way we don't lose the crafting uh, speed. I'm going to need some more bricks for that as well. We're mining right now, as you can see, so we should get those over. But yeah, I think I'm just going to do something like this. Attach this to the wall here, and that should be enough room for all of our blacksmithing. We'll just add a roof to that. Ooh, actually, maybe I should do a backdrop. That way our roof isn't going on our wall because, yeah, we wouldn't be able to run by that, obviously. So I think, yeah, we'll add an extra pillar here. And then, yeah, we'll just have a bunch of these small outposts outside with all our crafting stations underneath them. Well, not sure if it's good news or not, but uh, we got a new slave running towards us. Osric here. Um, yes, we're going to keep him. We have the walls to keep these guys at bay, hopefully. Is he injured? Yeah, he's definitely injured a little bit. But yeah, welcome to the crew, dude. I need all the help I can get. We're slowly making our way to building this stuff. Unfortunately, it's not very quick in the winter. Moods are extremely low right now with that death and whatnot. So people are rebelling, as you can see, all the time. All right, so there we go. We moved all the metalworking and stone-related items down to here, so that way there's more room up here. I think I'll just focus on this as a research station and then maybe the cooking as well. I do want to close this in, though, in case this is making the rest of my uh, area cold because people have been complaining about the coldness. Obviously, it's winter, so I think we're going to run into an issue anyways. But yeah, there wasn't much room in here, so we're going to move those out. We'll keep the smokehouse in here. Is this just a, <laughs> some limestone bricks that are stuck back there? Might want to make a like a sewing station on this side, I think. That actually might be a good idea. I'll just have all the sewing and um, weaponry making on the other side. I think we will do that because I should get into uh, wooden weaponry now. We'll unlock that. That will unlock the woodwork bench. Uh, and then we can actually get a short bow. <laughs> More than one for my whole tribe here. All right, we finally got the woodworking table down, but I don't get the short bow. Didn't it say... Am I crazy? Oh, there's a whole different table. Damn it. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just have to put that down, too. Oh, I should really pay attention. I thought all the wood-related items would go on one table, but clearly not. And, well, as expected, the raiders are here for Osric, so I think we're going to try and fight these guys. I was really hoping to get an extra bow or two. How many do we got this time? As long as they don't got bows, we're okay. Oh, my God. Is that a musket? Okay, no, I thought, I thought that was a musket. I was like, there's no way we're in that era yet. Ah, uh, some nice weaponry, though, and a, a freaking giant is upon them. I do not want to screw up with Jacob. Look at the size of this guy. Okay, everybody get inside. Uh, we might not want to, you know, just keep the doors open as well. Guys, come on. What? I mean, we worked on these defenses, and you guys just keep everything open. Okay, so I need to get somebody to be a steward right now. 
Um, I guess I forgot to weaponize Ostrich, so we'll get him to do that. All right, and hopefully he's smart enough to actually do this. Ostrich, please lock that. Yes, buddy. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! I love that you actually got to lock the door. All right, we're going to lock them all. I didn't even lock them last fight. I don't think they tried to open the door, which is why they got stuck at my front. But there we go. Ostrich will do that by the time they get here. And I think we should be okay. This this thing is great. Ostrich, where are you going, man? You're supposed to lock the doors. Oh, he's praying right now. This is, I mean, I guess it's a good time to pray, but can you please lock it? I feel like that's going to do a hell of a lot more than praying right now. Oh God, oh God, oh God. They're going to an unlocked door. Ostrich, lock it, please. For the love of God. Okay, thank God they locked it. All right, everybody's getting here. Traps are being hit. They're trying to break that down. Let's get somebody with a spear. Hopefully that's a strong door. So we're going to need it. Elena holding the door down. This is great. They can't stack up on top of each other too. So it's one at a time. And this is just like the perfect setup. Okay, here's the big guy. Jacob was horrifying. Elena seems to be doing a lot more damage. I thought Jacob would just like one hit this door. Look at this. I don't get it. Why is he so big? Thankfully, his HP bar is about the same as all the other ones. So we're doing okay. This is getting scary though. Honestly, if they get one archer, I am screwed essentially. So I really got to focus on my ranged attacks. Oh God, did they did they open it up? Okay, they have broke my, down my door. They finally got in. So I'm going to pull Elena back. And then we're going to come out with these guys. And this is where we're at. We have no choice but to actually fight. There we go. There we go. Oh my God. That was the perfect timing. They broke the door and we just killed two. And then it looks like they're probably going to be running away. And yeah, there they go. All right. Well, that's fine. Good job, Blake and Elena. You guys did all the damage once again. All right. Yeah. You know what? Just, just let them go. I think we have enough loot here. And uh, that went well. And I think with our first door breakage, we'll spend the points to get the reinforced doors now. That will also give us a better trap, uh, which is perfect for this castle setup. So yeah, let's unlock that and start upgrading all these doors now that we know they can break through quite easily, actually. So yeah, my graded door has a HP of 300. The benefit of the graded door is I can have a spearman on it. With this door, I'm not going to be able to, but I think it makes more sense to get some heavy doors. Well, I figured this would happen. We have our first cold snap. Severe frost turned the ground to iron. Um, thankfully, I've been slowly expanding out my walls, as you can see, to add more thermal stability. We also already have the brazier down, so hopefully these guys should be okay. Oh my god, even my screen's frozen right now, which is odd considering, you know, it looks actually kind of nice outside. I guess one thing I have to do, too, is turn all these doors. <laughs> I love how this still has thermal insulation, 0 0.5 compared to to the door that's open. They're actually exactly the same. Interesting. So you could have a gated door and it's the same. So I guess we don't need to change that. All right. looks like we do have a settler unconscious. I want to make sure. Are they unconscious outside? Elena's unconscious. Let's um carry this settler to an empty bed. We do not want Elena to die. She's our researcher. All right. This is what we should have did last time. Carry the settler. Thank God. Elena didn't die this time. <laughs> All right, Blake. Good job, buddy. Go, go to bed. Okay, and there we go. We survived our first winter. We don't have to worry about insulating this place so much, but I do want to slowly turn it into stone. It's just been annoying because you can't just straight upgrade the walls. You have to dismantle them, and then sometimes my floor dismantles and anything that's uh, above it dismantles as well. So it's been a long process slowly turning all this to limestone. All right, being that it's spring, I want to get into farming as quickly as possible. We're going to do smaller fields this time. Time, but I think having every resource kind of makes sense because one thing I truly do need is the barley. We might even do, yeah, let's do a four by eight of the barley because that will be for the ales. Everybody wants a freaking ale in this place. Actually, I, I have so much herbs in storage. I'll just delete that field for this year. And then we'll have two decent sized birch tree plantations because I'm doing a great job destroying all the trees around me. Thankfully, it looks like they regrow. But yeah, as you can see, I don't have much around my settlement but there we go we can get into the farming now everything's good i just actually cut down the rest of my birch trees from last year and would you look at that as i said um when i take down these walls holes happen everywhere it looks like we're okay this time though uh nothing i actually got destroyed Next thing we're going to get into, just because I'm going to start working on the... I don't know if I'm going to do separate rooms. I think it'd just be way too many walls, and I know you can't make kids in this game, but I do want to get a bunch of hay beds down to make their sleeping a little bit happier. 
Again, it's just been a constant issue with mood. So I think I'll move the bedding over here probably. I still got to figure out what I want to do with storage as well. I might just use this back as like a giant storage area. Because yeah, it's starting to fill up and it's all things that we kind of need. So yeah, all this stuff. I don't know if we really need to keep the bones. So we might move those, but everything else is like food and whatnot. So it's good. And then we also have our weapon storage here, which I don't need all these weapons. This is actually insane how many weapons I have. So I should probably deconstruct some of those all right but we're done Ooh, geez okay yeah uh once again it's lightning and thundering oh god i got it on camera finally that's horrifying thankfully it's far away from my settlement but yeah i've done stone all the way around i guess the one thing i didn't do was this wall over here so we'll finish up that and then we'll get on to building the giant sleeping quarters and i gotta figure out what the hell i'm gonna do with this massive storage okay so we now have this massive back I wouldn't really call it a room because it's not technically a room, but uh, at least it's got a roof over it. So we're going to move all our storage out there. I don't know what else to do with it for the time being. So I just keep moving it around, but that will give us all this room to have an actual decent living quarters. And I hope this will last us for a while here. We're going to put most of the stuff here again. I think we'll just keep our raw resources over here. It's actually very convenient. Uh, they're usually out that way anyways. And then, yeah, all our food and everything, I hope we'll be fine out here. I'll have to keep an eye out just to be safe. Okay, wow, it feels weird. I, we actually have a lot of space in here, as you can see now. So um, I can't get rid of these poles. These are holding up the top floor. Kind of frustrating, but that's fine. I just saw that we were missing a little bit of ground here, but that's okay. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is have the left side as our living quarter area. And these guys are going to be happy campers. We're just going to have a bunch of beds going all the way. I think we'll do eight for the time being. We don't have eight residents yet, so I don't have to worry too much. But at least that will keep them nice and warm. We'll add another clay brassiere here. Um, it can't be right in the middle. That's frustrating, but that's okay. I don't know how many of these I need. It tells you the heat output, but I don't really know what that's referring to. 1,800 it sounds like a lot. Who knows if it actually is or not, though. So this is great. We can deconstruct these now and finally stop sleeping on the floor. Hopefully this helps mood a little bit. And there we go. Most of them, Blake seems to enjoy the ground, but most of them are now sleeping on beds, which is fantastic. They're happy. Well, oddly enough, he's rebellious, but he's happy as well. I really hope this helps with the happiness a little bit. We're going to add more things over here. I accidentally deleted my backgammon table. So I'll add a couple more of those. We really just want some living quarters here. I think I'll add some tables and whatnot in case they eat at the tables as well. I honestly don't know. But yeah, I'm just trying to keep these guys happy right now. There we go. That should be more than enough for them. We'll move the shrines down here too. This will just be the living quarters where we have a little bit of everything. I need wood right now, but we'll worry about that in a second. Um, and yeah, I want to try out some of these tables. So let's just get a large one in here. We can put it right here. We'll actually just delete these beds. So we have to force them to sleep in the comfy beds. Pour them. So yeah, we'll put it there like that. I don't know how the chairs work. Does it just... I guess they just use them. So we'll add six for now. There we go. And I got to get some wood. I really got to get some wood. We are farming. As you can see, everything is growing quite well. So overall, this year is going great so far. We haven't been attacked or anything. It'd be nice. We could actually get attacked so I can get some more residents. One thing I can't figure out is the bones piles. I, I can't actually find them in the resource list and they're not moving them. So I, I think there's just going to be bones here forever. I don't even know where they came from. But yeah, they don't seem to be in the list anywhere. But yeah, it looks like we have lots of inventory space now. Oh, and finally, we have a new settler. Mabel has joined us. And it's not even a slave this time, at least allegedly. Yes, welcome to Dreytardia, Mabel. Oh, God, this is nice. I don't have to worry about being attacked, hopefully. Seems like just a nice lady just stumbled upon us. So yeah, join us. I don't know why these beds aren't being built. Oh, we need more hay. That's why. Um, That's one thing I didn't really think about. It's okay. We still have some around the map and I did put down... There's actually... Actually, is it harvestable now? All right. Well, I guess we'll just harvest this stuff too. That worked out. <laughs> and look at everybody. Are you guys actually happy now? I didn't realize how giant Noth was <laughs> until he sits by the... Uh other characters. That's actually fantastic. It's looking like moods might actually be going up right now. 
Uh, this is good. Compared to what I usually have, this is really good. So it's almost like when you give them decent living quarters, they're happy. Nah, no, I didn't even notice there's a bed here. No, stop. Just go sleep in a good bed. Weren't you the one that was sleeping on the ground before? Before. Before, too? I think this is a good time to wrap up this one, guys. It was a rather peaceful episode. Don't get me wrong. We got attacked, but it was nothing that was, uh, struggle worthy at all. And now look at... Happy faces are happening. I honestly was worried that I was just going to constantly have a sad kingdom. But yeah, now that they actually have some space, they can actually eat at a table and everything. It seems like they're a hell of a lot happier. And we're well on our way to being self-sufficient as well. We got our nice little farming area. I'll see how good we do this year for food. I'm a little worried right now. We might add some more to it. But worst case, there's actually a lot of rabbits and whatnot around we can hunt. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying Going Medieval. Um, yeah, in the next episode, I would like to get underground. I'd still want to very much do an underground mine to see what that's all about. That might be good for storage as well. And another thing I would like to do is do the Archer Towers that I've been saying I want to do for a while. Just to see if going higher in the air increases the Archer's range. Just to add a little bit of more defenses on this as well. And then maybe add a few more doors and whatnot. Because they can indeed break through our doors now. But I'm not too worried. I think we're doing okay. And I think we'll survive quite well. But yeah, as always guys. Thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.